thank you very much for the invitation to this debate. I'm going to argue that we need vaccine mandates for COVID-19. More than 530 million reported cases of COVID-19 since the start of the pandemic. The estimates are much greater. One billion, two billion, maybe more people have had COVID-19. There are six million reported deaths, but WHO estimates that there are 15 million, maybe even 20 million deaths based on their excess mortality studies. How many more have gone unaccounted for? How many more people will be infected with SARS-CoV-2? How many people will get COVID-19, have serious symptoms, have permanent damage, even die? Vladimir is age 68. He's from Russia. He doesn't trust his government. He didn't get vaccinated. He was upset that the only option was the Russian vaccine. He decided not to take it. Paula lives in the UK. She's 48. She's a music teacher. She decided she doesn't really trust the science. She thought the vaccines were developed very quickly. She decided not to get vaccinated. Hans in Austria, he's a ski instructor and he said, I'm so young, this really isn't a problem for me. I'm not getting vaccinated. Aileen, 52 year old secretary in Baltimore in the US, she supported President Trump and she heard his scientific advisor, Tony Fauci say something about herd immunity and that if most people got vaccinated, others wouldn't need to. She decided not to get vaccinated. In Vladimir's hospital, many people became infected. We don't know what the source was. Paula is no longer with us. Hans says he never got infected. We don't really know. He may have been um, infected and, and just not aware of it. Aileen is on a respirator. She had serious symptoms and still has trouble breathing. So what's the situation around the world? Those are individual stories, but around the world, in 2021, the majority of people said they would get vaccinated. But if you look on the right, almost 25% still said no when asked if they would take a COVID-19 vaccine when made available to them. And there's great variation among countries, but the majority will, but still one in four said they won't. Vaccine hesitancy was even declared by the World Health Organization in 2019 before the pandemic as one of the 10 greatest global health threats. It's also a problem among healthcare professionals. As you see here, the majority of healthcare professionals, doctors, nurses, and others will get vaccinated, but there are still many who have not, and many who say they will not, and even 3% you see here on the bottom left, this is a global study saying they strongly disagree. They simply will not get vaccinated. This is a real problem. Healthcare providers, our trusted healthcare providers who won't get vaccinated, one in four people around the world not planning on getting vaccinated as the pandemic rages on. Transmission is going up in many countries here in May, 2022. Deaths are going up in some countries. Australia just reported a doubling in their deaths. This is a serious public health problem. The end is still not in sight, but vaccines, are our best weapon, our best prevention, along with other prevention um, interventions to end the pandemic, to end the pandemic as a public health threat and ultimately bring it to a complete end. The good news is, is there's support for COVID-19 vaccine mandates all over the world. I also call these requirements. If you look to the far right, international travel, well, the majority of people don't want to get onto a plane with those who have not been vaccinated. Again, differences between countries, but strong support for vaccination when traveling internationally. It could be a plane, it could be a train or otherwise. Indoor activities. This is an airborne virus, a highly transmissible virus, SARS-CoV-2. The majority of people support mandates for indoor activities at universities. And they also, if you look to the far left, support employers requiring vaccines in order to go to work. That number is higher when it's a hospital and some hospitals like Houston, Houston Methodists in Texas have required everyone to get vaccinated. Some hospitals, some places of work in the healthcare setting are declaring themselves 
100% vaccinated, safe places to work and for their patients. We need this in places of employment all over the world, whether it's factories, schools, hospitals, or offices. Vaccine mandates does not mean that everyone needs to get vaccinated. I strongly support the right to not get vaccinated, but one's individual right to not get vaccinated ends when it starts to affect others. Therefore, the mandates set out the limitations that will be put in place if an individual decides not to get vaccinated. That means for international travel, and remember mandates do not mean that you cannot travel internationally. They mean you need to be vaccinated, but there's always exceptions with mandates. For example, having a negative test within 24 or 48 or 72 hours, depending on the context. So even when mandates are in place, there are exceptions for those who will not or cannot get vaccinated, but do, they do send a clear message to the population about what needs to be done. We need to vaccinate against COVID-19 to prevent severe symptoms and, of the disease and to reduce the likelihood of transmission. I'm sure you agree with me. I look forward to the debate. Thank you.